What is up, everybody? Welcome back. All right. So, yeah, I pretty much said everything that I want to say in the first two videos. Now we're just going to be hanging out, having ourselves a good old time with, uh, with uh, this gay cowboy. Seriously, look at them chaps and tell me this motherfucker ain't gay as shit. I'm just saying. All right, anyway. <laughs> Not that that's a problem, don't get me wrong. Again, I got nothing wrong with queers, but... I'm just pointing it out, that's all. I'm just an observationalist. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Again, 2 plus 2 equals 4. The sky is still blue. The grass is still green. Ain't nothing wrong with any of that shit. Yeah, that's honestly one of the creepiest things going on in our society these days is a complete denial of the truth, facts, and reality. Again, like I said, like I've said in the past, I should say, I have, I never would have thought that I would be living in a time period that's this fucking retarded, but... Welcome to 2023. At least at the time I'm recording this is 2023. By the time I get around to uploading this, it'll probably be well into 2024. And who the hell knows what year it'll be by the time I get around to uploading this shit on Rumble. Could be 2027 by the time I get around to uploading this shit on Rumble, if I'm being honest. Because I do run my Rumble channel a lot differently than my YouTube channel. And I have my reasons for doing that. But yeah. I will say, I've been pretty fucking annoyed recently with a lot of YouTube's antics. With them fucking deciding to age restrict my videos because I dropped the fuck bomb one too many times. Which, again, has never been an issue in the past. But now they just keep deciding to create new and interesting rules to piss off their fucking. Uh, piss off their content creators. Whereas on Rumble, I don't have to worry about this shit. Not one single time has a video of mine on Rumble ever been restricted in any way whatsoever. At all. Not because of anything I said, not because of anything that I showed on the screen. Nothing. Not one single fucking time have my videos ever been suppressed in any way on Rumble. And I certainly can't say the same fucking thing for YouTube. Seriously, y'all should go follow me over on Rumble for when I inevitably get banned off of YouTube because I have a bad habit of speaking the truth and acknowledging the truth, and that's not allowed on YouTube anymore, so... Yeah. I have a feeling that if I'm still on YouTube first, let me be the first to say, wow. I'm honestly surprised at this point between the Hogwarts Legacy shit that I did, talking about certain things that I did during that playthrough, and um, not to mention all the Senra and Kagura shit. <laughs> like, uh, honestly, if I'm still on YouTube at this point, I will be mildly impressed. So yeah, that was fun. Created a rocket. Mildly appropriate. Considering this gay cowboy probably knows a thing or two about rockets if you catch him adrift. Which, that may or may not be the gayest thing I've said in a while, but whatever. Love how fucking retarded these AIs are. They just keep like hopping in and hopping out and hopping in and hopping out. It's like, what the fuck? in your programming causes you to do that. It is amusing though, I will admit. Yep, definitely amusing. Pretty much all of them are hanging out over here. Alright, got X out of there. Oh, there's my scene. 
you at the bar getting drunk. Fucking drunk slut. Then again, drunk sluts can be fun. Am I right? <laughs> God damn it, I've said too much again. My fucking horror of a sim. Yep. I'll just hopping in and hopping out because these idiots apparently don't know what to do with their lives. So that's fun, I guess. <laughs> Have always loved this location, though. We've had a lot of fun times at this place, for sure. Of course, I'll move on to the next place eventually, but. Yeah, I definitely had some fun times here, for sure. Beyond a doubt. Usually what I like to do is switch uh, locations like every year. So, yeah. This is a game I play somewhat fairly regularly on this channel. Hope you guys enjoy it, too. Usually these videos do pretty well, so that's always good. Always encouraging to see that, for sure. Like when I actually uploaded some uh, content the other day that I wasn't expecting to do like super well, but it actually did extremely well, and I'm like, ooh, okay, maybe I'll upload some more of that for you guys. I definitely do pay attention to fan feedback. Like for those of you guys out there who think that I don't, I actually do. I do pay very close attention to fan feedback. Granted, at the end of the day, like I've always said, I'm going to do whatever I want at the end of the day on this channel regardless of what anyone thinks. If I want to play a specific game, I'm going to fucking do it. I don't care if the videos get good views or not. Again, like I've always said, I'm going to do whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want. Anyone who wants to hop on the multi-step train is more than welcome. You're also more than welcome to hop off that train at any time. At the end of the day, all I'm here to do is hopefully create some fun content for you guys. Sit here in this studio, play some games, have some fun, all that good shit. And that's literally all there is to it. Nothing more and certainly nothing less. But I hope you guys are doing good out there. I know these are very, very tough times we're living in and... Um, I really do genuine gen because apparently multi-step can't speak fucking English. But anyway, I really do genuinely hope that you guys are doing good out there. Holy shit! I actually got a sentence out without fucking it up. Imagine that. Jesus Christ, multi-step, get your shit together. <laughs> good lord. Can't even fucking speak anymore. Fuck. Living in this dumbass society has killed so many of my fucking brain cells, I can't even fucking speak fucking English anymore. Son of a bitch. Well, except for swear words, which I always seem to be able to pronounce with extreme clarity. For obvious reasons, because I use them way too much and I'm really good at it. Alright, well, a car will arrive for super in an hour. Man, I wish that was a thing. I wish a carpool would show up to take me to work. That'd be fucking nice. Wouldn't have to waste my own gas. Don't get me wrong, I love my car. My car is way better than it has any right to be. My car is a little 2003 Chevy Malibu LS, and that car is way fucking better than it should be. For what it is. For what it is, it is an amazing fucking machine. Beyond a doubt. That stupid little thing is fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Plus, mine's like the most upgraded version of that car, so it's got like all the bells and whistles. It's got the spoiler package. It's got the sunroof. It's got a CD player and a cassette deck. Just saying. So I can play all my cassettes that I don't have. <laughs> actually, I'm pretty sure I do have some cassettes somewhere, believe it or not. I'm old enough to actually own cassette tapes. 
I actually had like a little cassette recorder that I used to play with a lot when I was a kid. Fucking thing was awesome. I remember I spilled ice cream on it once though. <laughs> uh, still worked though. That fucking thing was well built. I think it was like a little Panasonic or some shit, like tape recorder. And that motherfucker was very well built. Because I can guarantee y'all I beat the shit out of that thing. But yeah, I used to mess around with like cassette tapes actually a lot when I was a kid. I just always thought it was kind of cool. Yep. Definitely occupied way more of my time than it should have. <laughs> But yeah, I might still actually have some of my old tapes somewhere. I have like a couple storage bins that like a lot of actually my game systems are s propped up upon. Like my gaming setup is not the most good looking gaming setup. It's kind of it's kind of a admittedly somewhat ghetto looking setup. But it works. Like all my systems are all hooked up and everything works. It's not the coolest looking setup in the world, but again, it works. <laughs> And that's what matters, right? Besides, you guys don't really see my setup at all, so it's not like it matters a whole lot. Although I have spruced up things a little bit in this studio throughout the years. I've gotten a couple, like, wall scrolls, flags, and shit. Got a clock, Coca-Cola clock on the wall. Got a big-ass fucking pirate flag in my studio. That's what we're doing here on Multi-Step. You know, here at Basement Cave Studios, I should say, we're fucking living the pirate's life up in this bitch, motherfucker. Living life to the fullest. Hell yeah. For sure. Just sitting here playing games, having fun, all that good shit. For sure. Enjoying the adventures of this sim sleeping in a slumber pod. Or I think technically it's called an alien tank, but whatever. Anyway, uh, like I said earlier today, I really don't have a whole lot of time to fuck with, so I really should end this part here. Doing one more video for y'all, probably pretty quick. Because again, like I said, I really am running out of time to get, get shit done today that I really need to get done. So, yeah. Alright, well either way folks, stay tuned for the next video coming up next. Until then, peace out.